Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. Now, I sound happy, but that's just for the intro, because I'm not. Uh, I've been waiting patiently, but very excited for all of the pupa to hatch from my Campanotus suburbatus colony. And as you can see, most of it did. There aren't very many pupa around, but they're all males. This may seem kind of cool because now I have a whole bunch of winged ants in my colony and it's super pretty, their wings are iridescent, and it's, they actually are very pretty. But it's not a good thing because it essentially means the queen is laying infertilized eggs. Typically when the queen lays fertilized eggs, it will become a worker, which is always female, or a queen elate, which is also female. The queen can still lay infertilized eggs though, those will always become male. Of course, everything would be fine if the males did work. Males don't really do anything inside of the nest. They pretty much just loaf around and get fed until they're ready for a nuptial flight. Yeah, males purpose in life is kind of sadly but still important to mate. They will have their nuptial flight, mate, and then die within a couple of hours. Unfortunately, since the males don't do any work, that means once the workers die out, the males will be all that's left to forage for food. Because of this, I see three options that I have with this colony, and I'd love if you guys could help me out and decide what I actually want to do. First, I could keep the colony and continue to care for it as good as I can and see how long I can get them to survive. And this could work because I see the queen forage on her own often, so maybe she would live for quite a while. Option two would be to release the colony back to the wild. They are native from where I live, so I'm okay with that, but I don't necessarily know if they would survive very long if I do that. However, seeing as they're not doing great in my care, perhaps they would do better in the wild. Option 3 is likely the least desirable option and it kind of tugs at the heartstrings, but I don't know if maybe some of you think this would be a good option, I really can't decide for sure. I don't like how it would make me feel, but since I already freeze crickets for feeding, um, I could freeze the colony and feed them to other ants that I own, um, but I don't know if I would like to do that. Uh, I really like these girls, so it would definitely hurt a little bit to do that, but uh, it would be putting these ants through a life cycle where they didn't do well and perhaps another colony of ants found them and would have eaten them anyways, so maybe putting them back through the life cycle would be the proper thing to do. So what I would really appreciate is if you guys could let me know what you think the best idea is, or if you have a better idea, I would really love to hear that, something that might save them. Um, I'm leaning towards option one or two, but I can see an argument being made for three. I'm just not sure if I want to do that. So let me know. The good news, however, is there's a decent chance that I could find another colony of this later this summer, so perhaps I'll get to continue to watch and record these beautiful ants. Anyways guys, that's the sad update. Uh, hopefully something good will happen, we'll just have to wait and see, and uh, I can't wait to see your ideas. Please like and subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.